Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 37 of Learn Lightroom 5. And in this episode we're going to talk about Lightroom presets. Now you guys probably remember several episodes ago we covered Lightroom presets. I showed you how to create your own and I also showed you how that if you downloaded some from the internet how you could load them into Lightroom. Um, the strange thing about Adobe though, they make their products, all their products, so you could do things multiple ways. You could do the same thing multiple ways. And there's more than one way to load presets into Lightroom. And I'm going to show you another way to do it. And actually, a lot of times, this way is a lot easier, the way I'm going to show you now. Um, so if you download um, presets from the internet, uh, you'll be able to load them into Lightroom in a second. It, it's really quick. Um, what I'm going to be doing is in the description of this video, I'm going to give you links uh, to the uh, Lightroom bundle that I have on my website and I'll also give you another link or two to some free Lightroom presets that you could get uh, for Lightroom if something if it's just something you want to try out you're not sure if presets are something that you'll be using all the time so you don't want to pay for any I, there's a lot of good free ones out there that you could check out so I'll include those links too okay when you download presets typically they're going to be zipped they're going to be compressed in a in a compressed file that's going to be dot zip and you're going to have to uncompress that if you use windows or mac uh, it's included in in the operating system where you'll be able to unzip those files and open it up and when you do uh, usually the presets will be in a folder and i have on my desktop here an unzipped an unzipped set of my presets they're called Anthony M's presets, okay? And I have them on my desktop. So when you download them and unzip them, just remember where that folder is because you're going to have to navigate to it later. So all you got to do is open up Lightroom and on uh, the develop module, on the left hand panel, you'll see presets. Just um, open up that expose triangle and you'll see that it already comes with some presets, uh, black and white filters and different presets here that you could always try out. But what you want to do is you want to load these other presets in. So what you got to do is write anywhere on, like below where it says presets on any of these names here, just right click and you'll see this little menu pops up. Just right new, uh, click on new folder and we're going to call this Anthony M's presets. Okay and we're going to go create. Now you see it's right there in alphabetical order. Now what you want to do now is you want to highlight that. Make sure you're highlighted on that because when you're going to import these presets they're going to go in whatever of these kind of folders that are highlighted. So if you're highlighted here it's going to load them all into that. And you don't want them there. So I want them in Anthony M's presets. Now I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on import. Now, as I mentioned, you're going to have to navigate to where they are. Now, I have mine on my desktop, and the only thing really on my desktop is the presets. And you can see my bundle has 70 presets in it, all right? So what you want to do is you want to select them all. And if you have a Mac, you just hit Command-A. If you have a PC, hit Control-A, and they're all selected. Click Import. It's just going to take a second. You can see that little spinning pinwheel, and there they are. And now you just uh, imported all the presets. Now that's a crazy one there. So we'll just click Reset. And um, my presets, what I tried to do with the ones I have, I get this question a lot. I should preface this. Um, a lot of people ask me if you could stack presets. So if you could add you know, this one on top of this one and on top of this one. Usually you can't. But what I tried to do with mine, I tried to do it so you could as much as possible. Let me try to explain. Um, let's say that I have this scene here and I want to try desaturated grunge. So I just click on the preset and you can see desaturated grunge comes out. And I go, well, I kind of like that, but you know what? I want to sharpen it a little. So what I did, what some preset packages might do, is it might overwrite everything when you click on a sharpening preset. So down here I have sharpening uh, landscapes, sharpening buildings and architecture. So I'm going to do sharpening buildings and architecture. And you could, um, I don't know if you could see it, it did sharpen it. But it did not take away that grunge preset that I already put on. Um, at times it will. Uh, 
you know, because sometimes um, one preset is, let's say, affecting color, and then you're going to choose another one that affects color, well, it's going to overwrite the color of the other one. So sometimes it will. But I tried to make these presets as smart as possible so that you could actually stack them in, in a smart way. Like typically, you'd pick a preset, and then you're going to maybe want to sharpen it and um, maybe add some contrast to it. And that, you could kind of stack those. Now, if you ever get anything you don't like, like let's say, uh, you know, I decided I don't like that. So click Reset over here on the right panel and it's going to bring you right back to the beginning. Now I'm going to try this uh, fake HDR, I call it faux HDR, and I'm going to say strong, let's say. Okay, now it gave me this kind of fake HDR look, and let's say on top of that I want to sharpen it, so I'm going to do landscape sharpening there, and you can see it sharpened it there. And then I say, eh, you know, I'm not sure I like that, so I could reset it, and you just could go back and forth, you know, and um, I could go enhance sky light, so it enhanced the sky on that preset. And then I could go back to sharpening again, or maybe I want to add some, um, let's see, I had some uh, contrast, where is it? There it is, linear contrast medium. So it added some contrast, but it kept the sky. So you can stack them a little bit. Um, and that's really all you got to do. And when you're ready, uh, you know, you could export it, you could just leave it the way it is. Or if you don't like it at all, just click reset again over here and start over. And that's it. That's, uh, that's all you really got to do to import presets and try them out in Lightroom. So it's a real short episode today. And as I mentioned, look in, if you're on YouTube, look in the description of the video below the video and you'll get the links to my um, preset bundle and um, also to some other pages on my website where I previously wrote about free Lightroom presets that you could try out. So um, check those out and try out presets. Maybe they'll uh, save you some time when you're processing your images. And again, I'd like to thank everyone who watches all my videos. I really do appreciate it. And I'm gearing up to be doing a lot more videos. I'm uh, going to be doing those, uh, all those videos I had on pause for uh, Photoshop and um, Elements, Photoshop Elements. I'm going to be doing those in the next few days. And I'm going to be doing some more Lightroom tutorials uh, coming up very soon. So again, thank you everyone who watched my videos. I do appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon.